challenges that span lifetimes. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have begun the process of examining your problems from a larger point of view, and we have noticed that your problems are stemming from more than just something that you've done to create them in this lifetime. We like to refer to your problems as challenges because you see the point in facing a challenge, but problems just seem to exist for no one's benefit. The challenges that you are facing now are the ones that you've been facing for lifetimes, and they are the challenges that your genetic line has also faced over and over again. You are here to change your approach in this lifetime. This is one of the things that you came to do. You came to address the challenges that you have been unable to face and triumph over in those previous lifetimes, and no one in your family history has been able to do so either. This is why they feel so big. This is why they are so big. So I want to say to you that if you are trying and trying to figure out what you did wrong, you can stop. And instead, you can decide that there is something very powerful for you in facing your challenges. And some of you do have more than one that you are facing. But this is the work that you knew you would be doing in this lifetime. So for many of you, the setup for this life experience has put you right in the line of fire to be facing the challenges that you are facing. The good news is that in all of your previous lifetimes and in the lifetimes of those in your family who have come before you, you have asked for help, you have prayed, you have pounded your fist, you have shouted to the heavens, and you have always been answered. Now is a lifetime where you can receive more help in facing these challenges. You are not alone. You are not doing any of this alone. Take the pressure off yourselves and allow in the help from the higher realms. So how do you do this? Well, you slow down, you put yourselves in a relaxed state, open yourselves up energetically to all that you have summoned over many lifetimes. An energy surge. We are exploring the possibility for humanity to experience a wonderful energy surge from the Earth core. The Earth is a being, just as much as she is a planet. And just as we look for opportunities to give you what it is that we feel you need, so does your Earth. She is also looking for ways to help, and right now there is a great deal of consideration going on within Earth's consciousness. We can, of course, communicate with her, and we have been. We have been making our suggestions, and she has been taking them into consideration. And so at this time, there is a lot of discussion about an energy surge. Now this energy surge would be something that everyone would feel, but it would impact every single person on the planet, and every single being living in the oceans and underneath the surface of the planet. It would, of course, affect the plants and animals as well. Now, as you connect with Mother Earth, realize that there are smaller surges of energies coming from her core all the time, and that is one of the best reasons that you have for grounding. You also benefit greatly from earthing, which is the act of laying on your planet. We know that you will make the right choice for all of you. We know that there is no other being who is more equipped to make that choice. She loves you unconditionally without hesitation, and every time one of you thinks of her and takes her well-being into consideration, she is aware of it. She is very pleased of how many humans are awakening to the significance of caring for her and looking out for her well-being. She is on this ascension journey with you, and in many ways she is taking you with her. So please take as much time as you can throughout the course of each day to connect with her and to show your gratitude and appreciation. We've opened more portals. We have opened a number of portals for those of you who are interested in receiving more of vibration. These portals have been strategically placed in different parts of your planet so that we can reach the largest number of you directly. Now, if you are wondering how to find one of these portals, rest assured that you don't need to find them in order to receive because of them. There are no magic words or phrases you need to speak in order to open them. They are already open. And we are able to send you more of our love, light, and support, as well as the upgrades, downloads, and activations that you all want. Now it is necessary, of course, to open yourselves up to receive. You will always benefit from opening yourselves up to receive, but that is true now more than ever. Many of you have been afraid of lower frequency beings, thought forms, energy, psychic attacks, and you have closed yourselves off as a result. If that is the case for you, then now is a wonderful time for you to face those fears, feel them, process them, and let yourselves receive. Let our higher frequency gifts into your energy fields and unwrap them whenever you feel ready to do so. We are offering so much because of how beautifully you have all responded to us and we feel your readiness for more. We sense within the human collective a desire to connect, and we are happy to be part of this journey with all of you. It is a pleasure and a beautiful and wonderful experience for us. We will continue to monitor how well you are all doing with our transmissions, and we will continue to hear all of you when you call out to us with specific requests. And all you need do is relax and let it all in. 
You are our transmitters. We have begun to experience the effects of our transmissions on all of you, and we are very satisfied with what we can perceive from here in the ninth dimension. We are happy to see that most of you who are receiving these transmissions are able to integrate not only the words, but also the energies that are infused into them. This shows us that you are ready for more, and we are always interested in giving you more. Now, we're not the only beings who are doing this. There's an entire network of beings here in the non-physical, and we are connected to other beings in the physical as well. Our network then syncs up with the earth and the sun to create such a magnificent web for all of you to rest in, much like one of your hammocks. Resting and receiving are key components to your evolution. It's not about the doing at this point. You've done enough. Now, as you continue to receive from all of us in the network, you are going to notice that it becomes easier to transmit to other humans, the ones who are still asleep, because you will be acting on our behalf and we know how to reach them. But of course we need your help. We cannot do it alone. You are the ones who are living side by side with those who have yet to awaken, and so you know better to deliver what we are transmitting. You know how to make what we are giving you accessible to them, and you know how to do this whether you realize it or not. You see this channel who is speaking for us right now is not the only one of you who is acting as a conduit. Whether you speak words or not, you are all transmitting energy and the rest of the collective is benefiting greatly from what you've been able to receive, integrate, and now transmit. And we are very proud of all of you. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you.